Tacoma Park and we are going to do lesson five to learn a few more things about drawing. How's everybody at home? Good. You think they're okay? I think they're good. Yeah? yeah that's good. All right. Well, we, do you remember lesson four? Um, what did we do in lesson four? Do you remember Xander? Oh, this is I Xander, by the way. Hello. Carrie, and we're here to talk about uh, black and white today. That's what we're going to talk about. Patterns of black and white. Yeah. So what yeah. happened in lesson four? All right. Well, you all met our bunny, Jersey, and Jersey has black and white spots on her fluffy little body. And we realized that, oh my gosh, not only does Jersey have spots, but who else has spots? Our dog, Loretta. Our dog, Loretta, has black and white spots. Isn't that cool? So we've got Jersey and Loretta in our house that have black and white spots. Now, I don't really think of our house as a place of black and white, do you? No, we're pretty colorful. But yet, behind us, we have a black and white painting mm -hmm. with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue That's by true. Shannon Rafferty, right? Mm -hmm. And if you could just stand up for me, because I think you have on a black and white shirt with a little bit of gray, right? A little gray. bit of yellow. Yeah. So, so one thing that artists do is they look at something, they see something, they observe in nature mm -hmm. or in their surroundings, and then they look for those same patterns or same characteristics in other things. And then they make new things out of those same characteristics. So I thought it would be fun earlier if we as a family went on a scavenger hunt in our house to find black and white objects. Because I was kind of convinced that we didn't have very many. She was wrong. We have a lot of black and white objects. Starting with books. Lots of books. Books are generally black and white. Look closely at that. The text is black and white and it makes a pattern, right? So black and white. So we've got books. Jersey, who's Jersey. black and white, Loretta, who's black and white, and a bunch of books. Yes. What else did we find, Xander? Well, we found some shoes. They're, they're gray, but it's close enough to black and white. Very close. Very we have close. this cow and this horse, black and white. A cow. We have some playing cards, the spades. and the, We have gaming controllers. Oh, we're going to have to hold that up. Black and white cards. I bet you can find some of those. Some A black control, a white controller. This is white. With black, with black knobs on, it. on yes. it. I found Georgia and Xander in a black and white frame. Can you believe that? Beautiful pattern and beautiful children, I must oh say. God. And I found a spatula, which upon first looking looks like it's just black. However, if you put a white piece of paper behind it, it has white holes. So in essence, it's black. And white. Yes. Right? And then we have some coloring books. Oh, that yes. Start out black and white. Yes, and this is a coloring book by a former student, Michael Guy Tomasoni. So you can find him in Southern Manor, but he did these amazing um, drawings and prints of different animals with black and white patterning. Very cool. Yeah, very, very I'll put cool. his information on my website. And then there's this owl. Yes. Which we won't mention the name of, but I bet some of you know from a very famous story, this black and white plush fur on the owl. <laughs> Owls have feathers, Mom, not fur. Huh? They have feathers. Oh, I'm sorry. Feathers. He's correct. It's not fur, although this is very furry, furry light. <laughs> and here's a panda. Not panda. really a panda, Xander. This is a panda. mug. <laughs> I was getting there. That is. Panda mug. Looks like. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what else do we have? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This moth. is a cool thing from my friend Anna. She found this moth the other day, and it just happens to be, it's a little bit brown and white, but we're going to we're gonna put it in our black and white um, object category. So now, we found all these objects. What are we going to do with them? Right? That's the next question. Um, so, what I would like to suggest is that after this lesson... You could be like an artist, Act like an artist. Act like an artist. and go around your house. First, find a pattern that you like. Maybe you have a dog or a cat or a bunny or a goldfish that has a really cool pattern. 
And maybe if you don't, maybe you have like a, a, a blanket that has a cool pattern. And see if you can find characteristics, things that look the same in the blanket with other things that you have in your house, like we did with black and white shapes. So go on a little scavenger hunt and then come back and join us. We're gonna switch views now so I can show you what we're gonna do with all these objects, okay? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you went around your house, hopefully, and you found some objects that reflect the pattern that you just saw. We found a bunch of white and black objects that have different patterns in them. And what I'm gonna do with Xander right here, say hi Xander, because I can't see Hello. you. Hello. Hello. Um, we're gonna play a little round robin game of of um, who stole that pattern, basically. So, what I want you to do is make, without really uh, measuring, I want you to make some small uh, squares on your paper. Yes, he's doing a good job following along with me. Squares or rectangles? It can be rectangular square-ish. It doesn't have to be really exact. I mean, what I am doing, last time I was talking about holding your pencil really, really lightly, and so that's kind of what I want you to do now. We're gonna make nine rectangles, square-like rectangles. And this is our pattern sheet. This is our pattern finding sheet. And it's really kind of fun to make this into a game where you kind of play some music and rotate your objects almost like um, uh, musical, musical chairs, mm, you know, yeah. like where you have who gets what object or hot potato where you can only have the, um, the, the pattern for a certain um, amount yeah. of time, you know what I mean? I like but that. we don't have any music because we, we can't play music for longer than 30 seconds. So we're going to have to just sing to ourselves as we, as we go, Xander. And I'm going to give you one, and you're going to give me one. And we're going to start by drawing the pattern that we see, making a pattern based on what we see. Okay. okay? okay. And then eventually this is going to be our sheet that we're going to work from. But right now we're just going to start with the objects we found. So you start, you give me one, and I'll give hmm. you one. Hmm. Okay. So can everybody at home see that? I got the horse, and he got the ten of spades. All right, so we're gonna wow, do in about a minute, and Georgia, this is where you can help out. You, you can help out. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need you to, to tell us when a minute is up, okay? All right, so I want you in this square to take the, the major things you see in that pattern. Okay, okay? sounds good. Right, ready, wait, wait, wait. set. Set a timer for one minute. Go. Nope. Give it a minute. We're waiting. Go. We're going to start. Go. And we're starting. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So we're trying to find things that represent the object, but we're not drawing the object. We're just drawing the pattern we see on the object. We need a buzzer. We do need a buzzer. Okay, switch. I'm gonna right. give you something. I'll give you this. Oh, I'm giving you the spatula. Spatula Ready? and the frame. And the frame. Can y'all see that? All right, here we go. Ready, three, two, one, go. I think I cheated. I started before you, Xander. Rude. Georgia, you could be playing your saxophone. I'd rather not. Okay. <laughs> And hopefully by the time we get through all of our 
our rectangles will have gotten the majority of the patterns that we see. Now mine are kind of interesting because they don't they don't line up. And I'm trying to work really fast. How am I doing? You're doing pretty good. How are you doing? Uh, I think okay. This is a long minute. Do you have a joke to tell me about a, a cow? A cow is well, well, Yeah, I do actually. Uh, hold on. Oh, done. We're done. Oh, Finish it. Okay. Oh, ah, yep. Ah, ah, ah. yep. 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 All right. We've done the spatula. We've done that. We got to do something else. You get this. We had an added object, by the Ooh. way, the binoculars. The opera glasses. Three, now this is two. two one, now these are one. less of a pattern and more of Guys, a I set the shape. shape. It's going hmm. This hmm. is going to be kind of difficult. Uh, you want to joke about... Um, black and white shapes? Well, I have one about... Uh, What's black What's and white red all over? Wait, what is that, Mom? <laughs> what is, what is? You said about... I don't know. I, I just remember it being a good joke at one time. I never actually got that one as a kid. A newspaper. Yeah, a newspaper. Where's the red come from? There's no red on a newspaper. Red, red, R-E-A-D. Red, you read a newspaper? See, no, oh, that makes sense. Oh, my gosh. That makes He's sense. slow, people. He's slow. I don't know how much of a pattern this is. It's okay. If it's not a pattern, draw the draw the um the thing that you see. Mine wasn't a pattern either, so I just tried to draw the negative space, the empty space oh. that I see. Done. Oh, I don't think We're you. Done. I'm not sure you did a good a job there. I think you probably need to try that again. I'll try it. That was kind of rude. <laughs> that was just kind of all right. Mean. All right, you you've got the a little <clears throat> bit of the owl here minus okay. the. So just this bit. Yeah, just that bit, but just don't get that in there. What? Don't get no. the tag in. Well, just get the bit of the owl. We're all good. It's gonna be okay. okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, George is not giving us a break. You guys go. Three, two. Oh my god. Go. All right. What do you call a cow with no legs? A cow with no legs? A cow? That's mean. I don't know. That doesn't <laughs> sound very fan family friendly and animal friendly, Xander. <laughs> Ground beef. Oh, that is rude. <laughs> rude. How is that rude? Oh, I've never. That is so rude. You're rude. Oh. You know, I think when you you, you talking about my my panda that uh, my panda that mm -hmm. kind of went against rule one of Bob well, Ross. Well, we will let. Oh. <laughs> there are no mistakes. There's only happy accidents. Oh. I just well, made I'm a not nice sure happy that, little panda. Mm, no, guys, kids, I don't know. You'll see my panda and his panda and see what you think, okay? We'll see, we'll see. How we doing, Georgia? You still have time. Oh, really? This is a long minute. That's a really long minute. I think I'm done. I think we're done. We're done. Moving on. You just drew a panda. That's all you did. I, I, I went for the general panda. shapes. I went for the general shapes. I drew that panda. Well, I drew the general right, shapes. here's something you're very familiar here's with. Here's a cow. Something Wait, I'm very oh, familiar with. Okay. All right, next. Set a timer for one minute. Three, two, two one. one. Wait. I'm only gonna do a little section. I'm gonna make it. I think you need to be a little more specific, honey. <laughs> I thought we were going for the shapes here. This is patterns, not we're not drawing it. You well, said. Well, but you your said... patterns are starting to look all the same. You want to get specific with your patterns. I think. I want you guys to vote. I think my patterns are very unique. I think she's just drawing the object. I am not drawing the object. I'm drawing the pattern on the object. I think that the viewers at home will agree with me. I don't know about that one. Now, I think there are other things that could be black and white um, that you might find around your house, like a blanket or... A grate, maybe. Mm. You know, like a grate in the floor. Like if you have a linoleum floor. Or yeah. a tile in your kitchen could be black and white. Or your bathroom. Like our bathroom is black and white. That's true. All right, I'm done. Are you done? I'm done. Okay, done.
Done. It's moving on. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to give him the beautiful, the one and only, the beautiful moth. We're going to talk about that moth in more detail. We're concentrating now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was stuck. Okay. George is not even paying attention to us. She's very rude. I think that she's watching something over there. What if I am? Okay. I still have the timer going. All right, I got my pattern. Do you have your pattern? Okay, good. Nice job, Xander. Done. All right, All so right. I'm going to take the moth, and you take Michael Tomasoni's uh, just a little bit of it. We don't want to copy his, but yeah. it's also kind of nice to look at what other people draw. It's true. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, this is quite a beautiful moth. I have to say, thank you, Anna, for this beautiful moth, even though we almost killed it because, well, it was, it was already dead. Um, but it kind of fell apart in the car ride home. You guys, can you guys tell which portion I'm focusing on? Can you see what I'm I doing? I might have, we might have done too many. This might be our last one. Okay. Nice. Okay, I think that is probably good. Now, let's get our little things together. Can you see them? Yes. Okay, so we have got some really interesting diverse patterns here, we do. right? We have some patterns are that are, are you done? yes, some patterns that are open and, and uh, are uh, varied in terms of what's in them. So this mm -hmm. is sort of rectangular with some circular shapes, similar to yours. This one's much more um, continuous and goes off yeah. the rectangle. But what we want to do as an artist is take these, like what you could do is take these and you could say, okay, I've just looked at black and white shapes from all different forms. What can I make out of these black and white shapes? Okay, so what we just did was we did something that all artists do. We observed our surroundings and everyday stuff and we found patterns where maybe we didn't know that they existed before. So we started out with Jersey, who has this fluffy, fluffy fur mm -hmm. that's black and white. And then we looked for black and white shapes in our house. And when we found those shapes, we brought those objects close to us and we drew from those objects and we kind of made a game out of it, right? So we drew all of these different things. We took notes. We did visual research from those objects. The second thing that artists do is that they imagine. So sometimes we don't observe everything we imagine something really cool, mm -hmm. like a new kind of creature or yeah. something, or a new song, or a new play or something, right? Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah, so right now what we're gonna do is we're going to imagine a creature that could actually be made up of some of these shapes, black and white patterns that we see, okay? So we're gonna get a new piece of paper right here, and we're gonna draw a new creature. New do you creature. wanna? Yeah. yeah. Do you want from your from your imagination. from your imagination? So something kind of really, really, really crazy, like that you've never seen before, hmm. like like a flying snake eating pizza. Oh yeah. Or what can you imagine? Or a chicken with a pig's head. Oh. And donkey feet. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Or Georgia, can you imagine something? A horse with a dolphin tail and. No legs. Yes, this is all mm. very good. So I bet you all at home can imagine something wild and crazy that we've never seen before. So that's what I want you to do. And then, instead of using color, we're just going to do black and white shapes, or black and white patterns, patterns yeah. for this creature. Okay? 
So George is going to come in so you can see the type of creature that we do. And you're going to start drawing your creature, All right? right? Mm -hmm. So what's your creature going to look like, Xander? Hmm. I'm going to stick with the chicken. Should I zoom in on one of your papers and then switch to the oh, other? Oh, you just come on over, honey. I'm going to make a bunny head and a snake-like body. That's surprising. She hates snakes. I am not a fan. I am not a fan. But I've never seen a snake with a bunny head before. And I'm going to... I'm going to open the bunny's mouth. Can I have that eraser? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. See my handy eraser here. And... Oh, mm -hmm. that's what I I'm going to open the bunny's mouth. Because I'm going to put a piece of pizza in it. A black and white pizza. Whoa. What type of pizza would that be? Black olives? Mm. Um, white sauce. White sauce. You need to keep drawing. I'm thinking. I'm oh. thinking. Don't. You cannot rush. All right. Oh. And don't forget your objects back here. So my polka dots are going to be turn. more like a cow. So it's really kind of a cow-shaped snake. No, it's a, it's a snake with cow patterns. Oh, that's right. It's a snake <laughs> with cow patterns. And we'll have a donkey. And a bunny, a bunny head. Here, I can turn it upside down. Can you see it, Georgia? Yes, I can. Now, if you've got a Sharpie or some other kind of black marker, that would be super cool to use on this. And if you don't, you can just use your pencil. Um, I'm actually using a drawing pencil right now, but you can use your school pencil if that's all that you've got. Okay, so we're gonna... It's shape time, right? It's shape time. Sort of like hammer time, <laughs> shape time. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Just you know, I'm kicking it old school, kicking, it, kicking old school. it old school. So this is how great illustrations are made. Not that this illustration is great, but these are how great ideas are come up with because they're kind of crazy and off, off the charts, never seen before. And it's super fun to draw with other people because then you can bounce ideas. Like, what you got going on there, Xander? So, I have a chicken body and mm -hmm. the whale tail where the head should be. And then when the tail should be, I have a, a bronchiosaurus head mm -hmm. with the goat feet. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. And then I'm layering. The, layering. Um, yes, I'm mixing the owl mm -hmm. with the, the, um, what is it, the moth. The stripes from the owl with the spots from the moth. That's cool. On the tail. I'm gonna do a rattlesnake tail that's striped. Ooh. I know. You You're never the snakes. I know, right? You never knew that. Well, never. actually, yeah, I'm not really into snakes. But this is an imaginary one, so it's okay. Makes sense. Right? Yeah. And their tails kind of get smaller, right? Yep. That's true. Oh. Ooh, I like that. Thanks. Thanks so much. Baby. I'm gonna put, I want my, my snake to feel like it's flying. So I am going to put buildings underneath. What does that look like, Georgia, from upside down? Well, it's not upside down. You're upside down. I, <laughs> I know, but I can't see it. So oh, does it look like it's buildings? It's a little wonky, but that's okay. Looks a little wonky. Okay, but I'm gonna put buildings like this. Does it look like windows? Yes, it does. Okay. Let's put it out here. Who's winning? You, you gotta turn yours upside down so oh. I can see it. There's mine. Ooh. Yeah, is your thing. is yours outside or inside? Mine's clearly outside flying in the sky. I don't know if yours is outside or inside. Mine will be outside, but you're going to understand the scale of this creature in just a second. Okay. Let me add the last pattern. Okay. I'm going to make a pattern out of my um, buildings, too. I kind of just messed up on that one, but... Now you can make this more complicated if you want by using color or marker. One more ring. 
Right. Ooh, that's pretty good. Now the scale. Georgia, what do you think? You're be, you're able to see it from the other direction. Come tell us what you think. They look really good. Yeah? Scary or not scary? Crazy? Okay. Imaginative? Uh, yeah, crazy. Like a black and white pizza? Well, that's the thing, I think. Uh, I don't they know. use olives and cheese. And yeah, that's true. That looks pretty cool. Thanks, thanks. How you doing there, honey? Good. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. I'm not used to drawing upside down. So while Xander's finishing up, I do want to share with you all a couple things. One, if you subscribe to the yellow line and you go on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page, you will be able to find resources to buy art materials if you're interested in getting some drawing materials to help you through this um, time at home. Um, Plaza Arts in Silver Spring, Maryland has a wish list called the Yellow Line Drawing Kit and I picked out stuff that might help you do some drawings at home and they will um, they can take your order over the phone or they can take your order over their website and they will ship it to you or they do curbside pickup too if you're interested in getting drawing supplies and oh Xander that is so lovely oh, thank you I like it Georgia what do you think Oh yeah, that's Very good. Nice. That's really good. That would look really good in pen and ink, like I think with the you're darker. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that on Saturdays I'm going to start a Saturday painter edition. Ooh. So if you're like six years old to, you know, like sixteen or older, even older, um, you six might to really 60? like six to a hundred and ten. Really, Ooh, you might really like to do this kind of drawing. But if you're 12 and older, like 12 to 110 or even older, you might want to try the oil painting or acrylic painting on Saturdays with me. So I'm going to be posting a Saturday painter edition Sounds good. soon. Okay? On Saturday. So if you're interested in a drawing kit, you can go to Plaza Arts. You can call Plaza Arts in Silver Spring or you can go to their website and ask for the yellow line drawing kit and they can help you purchase that. But you can also just use your pencil from school and whatever you happen to have available. Yeah. Um, so what did you learn today, Xander? Um, I learned that an artist can take a lot of inspiration from the things they see, from the patterns, okay. not just uh, physical objects, but the things that, their patterns. Yeah. That's what I learned. I like that, yeah. yeah. And if you take those observations yes. and you add them to your imagination, See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.